is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bring to the finale, uh, really overall, of Horizon in the middle of nowhere. I mean, honestly, who would have thought that, like, I, I mean, this show, to me, went by really, really fast, and these are the last two episodes, and I have no clue how in the world this is gonna end. Yes, Tenzo got Mary. I'm happy. That's all I needed. Thank God. But, I mean, what the hell is going to happen next? I mean, we're we're still continuing from what all happened in episodes 20, um, 22 and 23. No, it's 22 and 23. 23 and 24. And how the battle's still going off with them. But then I'm like, I felt like with these last two episodes, it's everything or really everything from season one and season two being all wrapped up together in a night neat little bow. And how are the hell, how in the hell are they going to end the show? That's the biggest thing that I'm wondering. But... Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 25 in 3, 2, 1, go. It's actually going to be the last time we're going to hear this. And it's opening. Oh, my God. Because I'm, I'm guessing in the last episode, they're not going to have this for you. So they're probably going to have it as, like, the ending song for it, supposedly. Because, you know. <laughs> of this show oh my god i'm gonna miss him so damn much him or i just now need a show that is about someone who whether they're a boy or a girl transitioning into the opposite sex i think that'd be really good to watch but there was one someone to tell me i just don't know what the title of it Ha, <laughs> 
He's still going to punch them. Told you. Mm -hmm. True. feel like he was just gonna fall off you know horizon wouldn't have saved his eyes he just would have fell horizon just would have been like
Only in the locker room. Oh damn, that was a nice hook. Um. Oh, Elizabeth, you're going to stop everything? These two would still be fighting. There's no way she's dead. I mean, come on now.
how? <laughs> Chris. If you would have told me like several episodes ago that those two would have worked together, I would have looked at you like you were fucking nuts. Like, oh my god. But, I mean, it's the last two episodes, so you're kind of obviously expecting some characters to already go ahead and work together, even though they just went against each other. <laughs> like, several episodes ago, but that's a game. It just shows you how far they've come.
to be fair, the two characters, like, in season one that I kind of wish didn't fight, but I still kind of wish we saw their fight in season one, but no, it's okay. I just wasn't expecting her to, you know, not use her big arms with the, you know, her arms to be cut off and then have her uh, regular arms and shit like that. All this, what the fuck? <laughs> So cute. <laughs> oh. Because I was wondering what the hell was going to happen next to her. But thank God she's getting saved. Okay, so I did like this episode for what it was. But, like, okay, let's just go on to the bigger picture. This last episode. I'm wondering, since we're going to be watching it in the next few minutes, how in the world they're going to wrap up everything from episode 1 to episode 25. And then to just... I mean, because this episode, it wrapped up some things that I had questions about for, like, a couple of weeks, but I'm glad that everything that I needed sort of, there's still a lot of unanswered questions, but some stuff that I have, but I'm okay with it, if, even if it just leaves it in, like, a big open ending that I'll never know what in the world <clears throat> that could possibly happen next. But, I mean, it's a good show inish, but now it's just, like, mm, just give me that last final bit of everyone. Let everybody walk out of this happy, healthy, safely bullshit, don't care how, don't care when, what, whatever, just let it, let everybody have a happy ending, because everybody, honestly, in this show deserves a good ending, I mean, they're really good characters, and I don't know, that's all I really have to say, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode, okay, final episode, and hold on, my mouse is making stupid, and three, two,
It is so fucking cute. I'm gonna miss him so much. But you did it.
You don't even have enough time to turn around, though. Jesus Christ, Horizon. He'll still love you no matter what. See? Holy crap, I had a feeling that they were going to bring this song back. I mean, we haven't heard this since the end of season one. I'm not even gonna ask about these characters, those the, the first three characters. I'm not even gonna ask because I'm not even gonna ask about these characters that are all being showing up because I'm guessing it's something for the source material. And because this is the last episode, we're never gonna know who the freak they are or anything.
That's all I really needed to have her do that final attack. That's it. Mm -hmm. Fucking finally. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh, my 
It took 20, another 13 episodes for him to finally put some damn clothes on. Okay, so final thoughts. I really like the second season a lot more than the first season. I mean, Miration was an interesting character. I loved it for what it was. There were some characters I liked. There were some characters that were eh. But it was a good show. I mean, season one was really more of the love of Tori and Horizon. And season two was just really Mary and <laughs> Tenzo. But, I mean, it's still leaving with a lot of unanswered questions, though. And... Honestly, I'm okay with that.
but then it makes me so wonder, well, like, what could possibly happen next for this show? But because of the fact is that the next thing that was supposed to come was an OVA for it, and everyone just told me not to watch at the beginning, as I said. But, I mean, it's just, it makes you so wonder, like, what could possibly happen next for these characters? What could their role lead to next? Could, is the possibility that somebody in this group would have died? Um, I believe that, you know, not Horizon and Tori, um, Tenzo and Mary, they probably would have gotten married a couple of characters. Uh, Jin and, you know, her master would have gotten married because, as he said, once he does this, then this is gonna happen. Everything. It was a good show. I mean... I will still say that, I, like I said, I liked season two a lot more than season one. There were some things that were iffy with me. I'll say maybe the battle, both battles, like final battles, were good. And, and they're both in their own way. But it was still a good show, and I enjoyed it for what it was. It's different, um, even though as someone who does like Echi, it's not, like, it wasn't those types of shows. Because, like, going back to episode one, I kept thinking that this was going to be the type of show that was going to either make or break how I feel about the show entirely. And usually, because sometimes some edgies can make or break the show, I have seen a lot of edgies that have made or break the show. Um, but it still made the show. It didn't, it wasn't too much fan service. It wasn't too little. It was subtle, but it wasn't always like, there were times where, yeah, it was in your face. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm not the target audience you're looking for. I'm just the girl who's just trying to sit here and just watch the show. But when it's like an edgy that is targeted towards females that I have seen in the past and that I have loved, but then when you're watching like um like the one that I watched before my channel was taken away, Dominic and the Seven Witches, that was something that was targeted both to male and females, and I still enjoyed it for what it was, even though it didn't do the greatest on my channel for some weird reason. I don't really know why, but I still enjoyed it. And it's kind of the same thing with this. Like, at the beginning, it was at the top, but slowly but surely, it was just plummeting into views and everything. And so I was just like, well, no matter what, I do want to personally finish the show just to see how it ended. And I'm glad I did. I mean, because ultimately, I think possibly if if I had to watch this not as a Patreon show but as a show on its own I maybe would have dropped it I'm not 100% sure there were times where I was a little iffy to see how the story was gonna go and continue and progress and end and such but I'm glad I love these characters I think they're really interesting I will miss some of these characters not all of them the ones that you know took my heart and everything like Mata and everyone else and Twenty and Horizon, yes, fucking Twenty's ass. Um, Tenzo, Mary, um, the witches, and anyone else that I really can't remember right now. But everybody in this show was good, and I enjoyed it for what it was. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards really this season, the season, the series, Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for the start of Sounds of Life. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!